Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. This video I'm going to be setting up the week of February 13th through the 19th, uh, Valentine's Day week. This is in my vertical planner, my catch-all planner. So if you only have one planner, that's your catch-all planner. This, I have more than one planner, so this planner catches all the stuff that doesn't belong in a different planner for me. Uh, that's the definition. Anyway, uh, let's see. So the theme I'm going with is a little bit of a combo. Um, drink wine day actually is on the 18th and my husband and I do love a good glass of wine. It's something we did, wine tasting is something we did quite a lot when we, um, our first few years together. So, and our palates have changed a lot. But anyway, um, so drink wine day, the hashtag HPTNT challenge. That's for the happy planning tips and tricks group on Facebook. I'm one of the admins and I run the challenge and I, um, being a wine lover, could not resist wine day as an option. Um, but it, like I said, it's also Valentine's week. So it, it combines a bunch of the different challenges. So what I'm doing for it is I'm actually combining a whole lot of stuff. So um, one of my favorite kits to use for this is the Vineyard Kit from Planners Anonymous. It's a couple years old. You can't really get it anymore. Um, but uh, I definitely want to use components out of that. So here are the three washi tapes. I pulled some stickers. This is These are just little journaling cards. And I put um, a piece of the scrapbook paper from the kit over top. And what I like to do is, so for Valentine's Day, whatever our special Valentine's Day meal ends up being, I'll write all the details in here so um, I can put one of these on the spread. I made these, oh, a couple years ago for another wine tasting thing, um, and then I didn't end up using them. I think our plans must have changed. I did pull one of the sticker sheets um, because I wanted to point out to you in particular these little, like, wine rings. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make these yourself whatever size you want, um, because I want to use those. So two weeks ago, I think, I did a spread where I used the, um, what a lot of people call the tombstone stickers, and then half of a heart to make um, coffee mugs or hot chocolate mugs. Here, let me grab page and show you. Should have thought about that. This, these. So um, the other thing you can do with these, this shaped sticker, is turn them into wine glasses. Um, but the problem is, so we have those wine glasses, you know, that don't have um, the stem. They're just the little short wine glasses that sit on the table, no stem. It's, it's really good for like outside or um, if you're afraid you've got little ones or animals and you don't want them to knock over as easily, those are great. So, I mean, ba basically that's kind of what this shape is, but I didn't, I was struggling with how to make them look really say wine glass um, because just putting these on the page, I felt like didn't really make enough of a statement. So then I thought, well, you know, I can add a vertical line and I can add kind of like maybe an oval so that I would have this shape and then the line and then an oval for the bottom, which just seemed like it would take up a ton of space, wouldn't um, quite get me the effect I wanted. So then it hit me last night. I was laying in bed. My brain's always working. It hit me. I could put a couple of these on the page and that would make it say more so wine glass. So let's get into how we're going to make those. Let me get my pages off to the side so I don't get water on them. I have here, this is just the back to school from Walmart, 99 cent um, little plastic paint dish and a little watercolor paint set. Like I said, 99 cents, back to school, Walmart. That's really all you need. Then I have, this is white matte sticker paper. This is a leftover sheet from printing um, some stickers. I don't know. I've had, I have a place where I keep these little scraps and I'm always telling you, don't throw your scraps away, right? So this is white sticker paper. Um, and what I'm going to do, and then the last piece I have, this is a, just a little sake cup I got in Tokyo back when I was working there a couple years ago. And what I'm going to do is use this. We're going to create a nice deep burgundy like Oh, and it looks like that's what I did the last time with this. We're just going to pick up. I'm going to, um, I have probably already sped this up. Um, I'm just grabbing like burgundy and some brown and some purple. 
um, to create basically what looks like spilled wine. And I'm going to stamp some of these out. We'll grab a little black to darken it up so it looks like nice dark. There we go. Now we're starting to, well, I've sped this up so that won't match. <laughs> but um, just trying to get super, super dark, like burgundy color going on. Um, and then what I'll do, or what I'm already doing, depending on how much um, I've sped this up, is I just paint around the edge of the glass. Maybe I haven't sped it up yet. I don't know. We'll see. Never can tell when I get into editing. But just paint messily around the glass. Um, and it's going to not be a perfect circle. And that's exactly what I want. And I'm going to take this and just stamp it right on here. There we go. And I get a nice, and you can move it around a little bit, smear it a little bit like a real wine glass would do. Just get messy with it. Um, so I'm going to just fill this page up. It looks like I can fit about four or five of these on there. And then um, I'm going to let them dry. And this will be then, these can be additional fact of the day boxes that go with the wine glasses. And it'll definitely then make it feel much more like um, they are those short uh, wine glasses with no stem on them. So I just stamp these on and then I'm going to pause my video and clean up so I don't spill water everywhere. It looks like I'm only going to get about four on here. And that's okay. I don't, I don't need a ton. Clean all this stuff up and let these air dry and then I'll be back. All right. So these literally took like five minutes to dry. They were pretty much dry by the time I was done cleaning up and just straightening up a little bit. So all I'm going to do is just rough cut around them. Since it's white sticker paper going on a white pl planner page, I don't need to be super careful. So all right, so what I thought I would do is um, put one of these between two glasses as my fact of the days. So if these if these are my glasses, if I put two of these with a, a wine ring in between, that kind of gives the feel of them being wine glasses, in my opinion. So uh, let's, I think I want to go ahead and put everything across the bottom, my fact of the days across the bottom. It's kind of becoming my default and I'm okay with that. Uh, I do though think I want to go ahead and put this washi tape down. It's basically just, it doesn't really have a direction. It can go vertically or horizontally. So I did briefly play with putting it this way, but I think if I put all my wine glasses, um, it's basically just like a spread, a top down of a spread of like cheeses and different things. So I think if I go ahead and just put it all the way across the bottom and then sit everything on top of it, it's going to look pretty cool. Like, the wine glasses and the wine stain rings are just extensions of the wine tasting party uh, brought by this washi tape. So when you're doing a washi tape run like this, don't pull your washi tape super tight. My regulars know this. I say it all the time. Um, it does cause your tape to stretch. Just blah, blah. <laughs> it does cause your washi tape to stretch just a little bit. It's pretty much imperceptible to the naked eye, but that is what happens. And then when you unstick it from your glass, your your glass. Oh my gosh! What I I have not been drinking, you guys. Seriously, maybe I need to start. Um, when you unstick it from your desk and trim it, it um, returns shrinks back to its natural. Uh, su str unstretched state and that's what causes your page to curl. So let's go ahead and just put my fact of the day boxes on here along the bottom. So we'll start with our two stemless wine glasses and one ring in between the two. So just rubbing my thumb along the edge and that'll get the sticker to start to come off of the backing. I was going to put them wonky, but I think I want them to uh, be straight vertically up and down to kind of help reflect gravity. <laughs> that the wine glass would be full. And then if I write on this with a really deep burgundy or purple pen, uh, it'll it'll fill the wine glass up with wine. So, all right, there we go. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to go every other 
with a wine ring stain and a silver glass. When you're basing the straightness of something on a curved edge, it's really hard to get it straight. So, all right, that is all I want out of this book. Incidentally, this is um, several copies of the same book, all stuck together. Um, basically the same way that uh, the Happy Planner sticker books, uh, make your own sticker books work, except that um, doing it by um, scratch, ordering your own Chicago screws, that allows you to make the sticker book as thick as you, as you want, so this is thicker. Um, I will link a video in the cards up above, I'll try to remember, um, where I show you how to do this and call out the different parts. I think I even have Amazon links to a kit of uh, Chicago screws. Um, but if I forget to link it, uh, you can find it on my DIY playlist. It's uh, pretty easy to find. So, all right. I have also then pulled my multi copy of the regular colorful boxes because I feel like I should probably stick with the um, silver theme for other things. So let's get to the silver section here in the back for everything else. And we'll grab a striped box for my meal planning over here. My normal meal planning, not my Valentine's Day meal. Any chance I have to go ahead and use um, foil boxes, uh, I think I, I like to take advantage of that because um, I, it just isn't very as often that I want to use foil. So. All right, so we're going to bring this up, but still cover this week's list with it. And I'll go ahead and grab, let's grab a paper mate flare. I like that fatness. And right in the days of the week. We actually, my husband and I are both retired, so we can do Valentine's Day meal pretty much any day we want. Um, I am going to hazard a guess that we will probably do it on the weekend. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just take one of these, like I said, journaling stickers that I made and stick that on here. Let's stick it on Saturday. And you can make these journaling cards super, super easy yourself. Just take a little piece of cardstock and if you want it to open side to side, make it two boxes wide, fold it in half and just put sticky on the very back. If you want to make it flip up, you just cut it out to be two boxes tall, fold it in half, and just put sticky on the back. It, they're so easy to make. Okay, so far so good. Now, let's see, my sister's birthday is the 14th, and I'm actually toying with the idea of using this last one because my sisters and I were all, I'm the oldest of three girls, there's only five years between the three of us, um, and we, uh, we're all roommates in college. I miss them terribly. My sister's birthday, the middle sister falls on the 14th and it would, if we lived closer, um, we would absolutely be sitting drinking wine for her birthday. So I think what I wanna do is go ahead and use this, even though it's really big. I think I wanna go ahead and use this fourth one since it matches for her birthday. Sometimes she watches my videos, so Jill, if you're watching, happy birthday. <laughs> um, don't worry, I am going to call her. <laughs> All right, let's see. So to-do lists on either side, manicure on either side, um, John's life drawing group. Well, we just need to start sticking some stuff on here. Every This can't move, so I'm trying to spread this stuff out. Um, this can't move, this can't move. So let's go ahead and do two slightly smaller boxes for those two things that can't move. So this is one size up from the single like header size box. And since I'm somewhat of a chronological planner, which just means for me, this is morning, midday, um, late in the day, other than fact of the days. Um, that's why I'm deciding to put these where I'm putting them. Because like I said, these aren't moving. Here is a to-do list in silver 
that I could use. Only the problem with that is it's, it's really not reasonable to be able to check those off. So the other things I have off camera here, these are two pages of wine um, themed scrapbook pages. Um, I Back before I was a happy planner, back in the late 90s and early 2000s, I was a scrapbooker. So I have lots of stuff in my scrapbooking. And like I said, we used to go wine tasting. So obviously I had stuff, you know, wine tasting stuff in my stash um more that's what that is and then this was a printable um that i print cut and printed a while back or printed and i kind of kiss cut and it's got some to-do lists in this same kind of color scheme so i think i might go ahead and grab a couple of these actually let's see if i kiss cut them out yep looks like i did so just picking a couple that are really really dark um, to kind of match a little bit my my sticky note paper rings that I did. So we'll go ahead and put this one here. There we go. And then let's put another one, another dark one like that. We'll grab this one. Okay, and then I need my two manicure spaces. Um, just toying with the idea of like cutting that in half and using those as my manicure boxes. And what I could do then is write on them with white, white, um, sorry, I was just noticing this sticker is sticking up higher than the other one. I think it's because of this wine glass here. I could write on them with a white jelly roll because they're so dark. Let's do that. Let's cut this in half. We'll use it as my two manicure stickers because I feel like I have, well, over here at least I have a lot of silver. Over here, not quite as much, but that's okay. So I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm just going to cut this in half. That looks about right. And we'll just stick these on there. I think just kind of centered. Since I don't know, like I said, exactly what day it's going to end up, we'll go ahead and stick this one here. Okay. So functionally, that's everything. Uh, I'm also toying with the idea of putting one of these on there on my to-do lists as a place to add my, my functional words. Um, if I use a slightly lighter one, then I can put clear black sticker paper over them. Um, and there are three, so I could do one for the menu planning box as well. Let's go with this one. Since I went to the trouble at some point to kiss cut all this stuff out. So it looks like I didn't quite kiss cut the top edge of that one. I can either trim it off or just put it over white paper so you can't really tell. So I think what we'll do is just stick it over the white paper. And I don't, I don't know where I found this principle Back then, I was using Pinterest a lot. So um, if you do a search on Pinterest for planner printables, you will find all kinds of stuff. Okay, it's bugging me. That's the only one that's got a white stripe, so I got to trim it off. So functionally, that's everything. Um, I want to put a couple quotes on here. I want to, obviously I got to put some kitties on there. So let's move on to that. Actually, I need to clean up my desk a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, the next thing I pulled is the happy hour book because I, uh, obvious, for obvious reasons, because there's a lot of wine in it, but also because um, I, I remember it having some silver quotes and I feel like I've got these two hits of silver on this side and I've got two and two more over here and three with that. So I feel like I want, maybe I can find something silver to use as my weekend banner to help amp up the silver on this side for balance. Um, that is way too big. Wine and friends, except we're not really planning on wine and friends. I was told there'd be wine. I like that. It could go right here and just to give me more silver. Let's just make sure there aren't any. Oh, here we go. Um, but first champagne. 
Actually, we will probably be drinking sparkling wine, aka champagne, um, for Valentine's Day. So I could put this one up here. And my husband and I are both believers that if you're out to dinner and you order something to drink, it is inappropriate to receive food before a glass of something. <clears throat> You've got to receive your glass of something first. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and put but first champagne up there, kind of in my weekend -y spot. It's not really a weekend banner per se, but it could definitely come up here. And since it's such a funky shape, maybe I'll go ahead and it's clear. I think I might see if I can sneak it right up here in between, yeah, Saturday and Sunday to really make it feel kind of like a weekend banner. There we go. Because you could have champagne as a mimosa first thing in the morning on Saturday and Sunday. That, I mean, is a thing, right? And then I'm thinking I want to grab a couple of these smaller red wine stickers to sprinkle around here just to reinforce again layers of reinforcement that these are those little stemless wine glasses um, if I put a few of these on there then that kind of helps with that you know just a couple I should look for a quote um, over here for somewhere let's let's see let's see what else I don't know if I need another silver quote um, I mean we can look I was told there'd be wine that's actually pretty darn cute but I, I like I said I already have a lot of silver over here so maybe something that's not silver rosé all day when I'm friends I'd be I was told there'd be wine but that doesn't really fit my colors Okay, here's a nice hot pink one. That could work. And since this is wine drinking, um, I could put it maybe up here. The only problem I'm having with it then is I've got big quote, big quote, both at the very, very top. I kind of want for balance to put the other quote down here. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, I, I didn't put this on because I didn't know what I'd end up doing with the with the quote thing, but I know I'm not going to end up with the quote in these either of these areas. So let's just go ahead and do that. The other thing I can do is I put this here because I wanted to cover up that, but I could move it up to make space for another quote. So even if I did that, though, is this going to fit? This is not going to fit around that fact of the day box. So let's see what we got on here. The wine is making me awesome. <laughs> I like that. I like that. The wine is making me awesome. And it's kind of small. So we can fit it down here. And I feel like the color vibe matches like with this washi tape that's across the bottom. So that's good. That works. Last but not least, I have this sheet. I'm, I'm kind of actually starting to think these weren't a good idea as my manicure boxes. Let's take them off. I don't like them. I think they're throwing things off. Let's just go ahead and do two more silver boxes in their, in their place. And then the other thing I'm thinking maybe I need to do is move this up. So we're going to move it up and we're going to white that out and then we're going to come up with something to mask it. Because I have this big quote way up here, I really think the other big quote needs to come down here and the positioning of this was throwing me off. So this now, this littler quote can go somewhere else, but now we need to figure out what's going down here. And I think I want to go back to that quote. I was told there'd be wine. The pink version. To help balance a little bit with the silver. But I like that it's the same font and kind of the same open openness. We can move this wine glass up, I think. 
Oh my gosh. I ran out of fingers. I'm out of fingers. Okay. First, let's put this on there. I was told there'd be wine. Okay. Then let's put this back on there. Which now, now I can put this since this is, this is actually 9 p.m. It's because I'm a West Coaster. This actually is midnight East Coast, which is 9 p.m. for me. So it really needs to go down here, honestly. Okay, let's do that. And then let's put this here. It's okay if it covers up that little tail of that word. I am okay with that. Let's bring it down toward B and just kind of shape everything around that quote. Okay, that all works. We can move this up and maybe we can find a kitty or I can put a wine glass or something over that white out. Let's put the meal planning box way up high because I've got a lot of silver. This will spread it out the most. I really kind of want to use this quote. I guess I could put it it's just so different from everything else I have anywhere on the spread. I feel like it doesn't fit very well. So I guess we'll put it back on the page and save it. There will be more wine spreads. Okay. All right. Better. We still need kitties. Um, let's put a couple more of these wine glasses on there. I could put a champagne sticker on there. I know there are champagne stickers. Which... Technically, it's not champagne, it's sparkling wine, so it fits. Technically, technically, it's sparkling wine. Unless it's from the Champagne region of France, it is technically sparkling wine. So, here's a little mimosa. So, it fits with my National Drink Wine Day, which actually is on the 18th. So, there we go. Um, let's do kitties and functional words. And then we can see what other decoration we want. So, oh, and coffee. Let's do, I kind of am tempted to use these coffee, one of these with the coffee ring because I've got those, but. Okay, so we're gonna, since this isn't kind of a little bit sassy, funny, how about we use one of these? Coffee is a cup of a hope in a world full of Mondays. Let's use that. And this is from um, Alexandra Nicole Plans. One of you all recommended I check her out, and I did, and I ordered a bunch of stuff, and I'm so glad. Let's go ahead and grab some functional words, like important and to do. I want clear ones, though, um, to put over those and meal planning. Oh, there went my nail polish bottles. Let's grab those, too, while we're at it. I think a couple nice dark like burgundy colored ones. We'll just stick with the color scheme. Dinners, meals, there we go. And these um, functional words that I'm using today happen to be from Orange Umbrella. I like to try to find them from the same place and that way you have, I have the same exact font. All right, kitties. I know I've got wine drinking kitties. So let's find those. Here we go. There, there's uh, kitties having a nice romantic dinner. I love that one. So we are gonna put that, you guessed it, over here with the dinner sticker. That one was from Fat Cat Designs. Incidentally, I have all my little sh small shops that I'm flipping past and not pausing to explain. I do have all of those listed in my description box so you can find them. So this is um, another from Orange Umbrella. It's got a little kitty drinking some wine. Um, let's put this one over here. Yeah, we'll use him to cover up more of this whiteout. Um, something for meal planning. This one's from Sweet Avis Paper, and it says um, wine party. I thought that said wing party, wine party. Let's put this one on the meal planning box because it's so nice and tiny. 
How about somebody shopping? Like maybe I need to go get the ingredients for our romantic Valentine dinner. So we'll do shopping kitty. How about this one? Uh, this is another from Sweet Avis Paper. We can put one of these over here. So this is an actor plans and it's actually supposed to be um, music, I think, or a script. But to me, it looks like a shopping list. So that's why I went ahead and got those. So we'll put this one here with like the shopping list. Okay. All right. So I've got a couple kitty stickers on that side. I've got a couple on that side. So technically I could be done, um, but I don't think that's enough. We could put snoozing kitties. Or maybe if it's date night, you go to see a movie. Here are a couple kitties snuggled up on the couch watching TV. What else would you do after a movie? That seems like a good one for the weekend. There we go. All right, I think that might be enough. Um, there's no set number of kitties I need to have in my spreads, just as long as I have at least two to represent my boys, although I don't travel anymore and have to leave them for long stretches of time. So there we go. I think it's done. Um, it's a lot, it's a, got a lot of white space right now, but uh, that will fill up when I use some nice dark like burgundy pens and stuff. So... Oh, and I have silver foil on that one, so it's definitely going to fit with the silver discs. So there we go. There is my Valentine Wine Day spread. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to, to get out some, some watercolors and some supplies and have some fun once in a while. You don't have to do it every week. It's a little bit tedious to do something like that every single week, but it really is fun to do you know, once in a while to spice things up. And then when you look back through your planner in a year or two, um, you'll really, it'll really bring a smile to your face. So if you like this video, please do consider liking, subscribing, dropping me a smiley face or a kind word. All those interactions with my videos help me with the YouTube algorithm and are a great way to support me and help me grow. Thank you.